I can't wink. <laughs> 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 It's your girl Kirsty, and this is Modernly Kitchen. Today we are going to do a really special recipe that everybody really needs to know. This is the basic knowledge for if you're starting your culinary journey, how to make the perfect steak. The perfect steak. So today we're going to start off with some delicious rosemary and garlic aromatics for our steak. And it's gonna be accompanied by some con yak caramelized Ooh. brown sugar We get carrots. a little naughty in the kitchen, guys. But before we get to the video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you stay up to all of our content that we upload here, as well as follow us on Instagram at Kirsty Rooks and Izzy Lee Media so you can stay up to what Modernly Kitchen does outside the kitchen. Right, but let's get into the recipe. Starting with your delicious steaks, as you can see, kind of shiny on top, and that's not what you want for the perfect steak. You're gonna use paper towels. Make sure you pat down your steak. You want your steak bone dry for when it hits the cast iron skillet. That creates a beautiful crust and you're able to get a nice, nice pan sear. So that's what I do. I just make sure it's really, really dry. Taking your coarse sea salt, that's really important. I feel like sea salt is the best salt to use for recipes. I'm gonna do a generous amount of the salt and then pepper. To me, the best steak doesn't need much. You just want the bare minimum of seasoning. And be sure to push in your seasoning so it doesn't just fall off once you flip it over like this. I'm gonna salt this side, pepper, and then push it on the inside like that. You're gonna do the same with the other steak. For the sake of today, we're just doing two. And that's how you season a good steak. Let's get to the cooking process. All right, you're going to make sure your cast iron skillet is super hot. It's not really hot enough yet, so we're gonna wait a few minutes. Start with these beautiful whole garlic cloves. Like I said earlier, you don't need a lot of flavor in the steak itself. You can add aromatics throughout the cooking process. And then I have some fresh rosemary that's been in the fridge. Start off with some oil, just getting it really in there because you want a nice crispy, crispy, crispy crust. You want to place your steak in away from you. See, that's the sound you want to hear. You're going to leave it on that side for about seven minutes. Like I said, I like mine medium well. No, I like mine medium and then medium rare. If it ain't brown, it ain't cooked, in my opinion. <laughs> and the key is to not touch your steak. Don't move it around a lot. Let the cast iron fill it. Do what it's supposed to do. You really just want it, just let it be. Because the skin and the fats are melding together, caramelizing, making the best delicious crust for your steak. So I would just leave it be. I said seven minutes on each side is good. But now that I'm looking at the steak, the steak isn't as thick as I initially Thought. Your time really depends on the thickness of your steak. Add some butter in. We're going to add our garlic. We're going to add our rosemary on top of the steak. I wish I had a better spoon. My spoon is not working very well. Make love to that steak. Okay, and for our side dish today, we're going to do some brown sugar glazed carrots. We're going to put some oil into the pan and then we're going to melt some of our butter and then you can just add in your pretty carrots. I'm going to season them with a little bit of chopped fresh rosemary and then some salt. Right, so you're just going to leave these to it to do the cooking process. As you can see these are getting nice and colorful. So we're going to add a tad bit more butter, a bit of the brown sugar to spice this up a little we're gonna use some vanilla brandy so you're gonna be really careful you're gonna lift your pan up these carrots are looking really nice so after 10 minutes of rest your steaks are nice and ready for you to cut into them 
our knives kind of suck. <laughs> Make sure your knives are also sharpened, otherwise you'll struggle like we're struggling. It looks so juicy. It really is. What do you say is your tip to make sure that your steaks are always stay juicy? Uh, don't cut them right away. So 10 minutes is really for the juices to solidify and continue cooking that steak. Take the whole thing, put it on that plate there. First you're doing a ninja move with the knife. I like that. <laughs> Garlic on, add the rosemary back on top. It hurts. <laughs> Ooh, they look so good, that brown sugar. These colorful looking carrots from the farmer's market. It's a little different, but it definitely adds to the aesthetic. And you know we at Modernly Kitchen for aesthetic. We really are. Guys, this looks like something you would spend, what, $60 at a restaurant for. Oh, oh. This is just magnificent, as you guys can see. Babe outdid herself with this one. I mean, I like to think I did a good job coaching. What would you say is like, a good wine to companies. I would say a Cabernet Sauvignon. You Sauvignon. speak a different language? <laughs> Sauvignon. Cabernet. Sauvignon. Cabernet. Some mm. people say Cabernet. Mm -hmm. It's Cabernet. Or right. Shiraz. Shiraz. So y'all gonna step up the wine game like baby over here so you That's can be nice. more knowledgeable. I like it all wine. So. She likes it all. Literally every day. But we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> if you guys like this video, make sure to drop a like on it as well as subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date of all of our content that we'll be dropping out. Follow us on Instagram, Kirsty Rooks, Izzy Lee Media. We already said it earlier in this video, but do it. If you really like our content or want us to review a product or if you have a certain recipe in mind, don't be shy. We want to hear from you. Comment below. But until next time, this has been your boy Izzy and Kirsty. <laughs> this is Modernly Kitchen, and as always, stay blessed, don't stress.